Happy Sunday, everyone. Uh, uh, watching my Eagles get their ass kicked. But uh, still trying to follow. I'm following some of this Georgia stuff. After a couple of my last videos about how they're not doing anything to prevent the election from being already screwed up. Uh, like I said, I'm really losing sympathy for Republicans here. Uh, so, but um, my question, with all the distractions going on, and they are distractions, no one seems to be able to prioritize or keep track of everything, except for me. What happens to these people? Oh, so the presidential election, you see on the news, oh, ballots found in dumpster, ballots found on the side of the road, ballot box bombed. What happens to these, what happens to these poll workers? Because it's a federal election. It should be a felony and a federal crime. There should be a chain of, like a chain of custody log or something. Apparently there isn't, or they're not reporting one. So what happens to these people? Nothing. I think the only thing I've seen is a postal worker in Buffalo. They found like, what, three ballots in his trunk or something. And whether it's one piece of mail or one ballot or three or 30 or 30,000, it doesn't matter. And I'm all for that. It does not matter whether you fuck up one ballot or 100,000 ballots. But nothing happens to these people. Nothing happens to anyone on the left if they break the law. It's crazy. And the irony of that is the people who complain about pr police brutality and police officers getting away with things are the same people who aren't complaining, though, when the law gets broken to help them. It, it's such a double standard, and I just – I don't see it as a clear sign of intelligence, to be honest. An intelligent person would look past their own political bias to, uh, you know, say a what's right is right thing. So, I mean, so that's why I, I don't have any sympathy really for people like that. Oh, the police are trying to, the police are killing us and white supremacy and this and that. Well, hey, if you're not going to be consistent and ask for consistency in the law across the board, eh, oh well. So, maybe I'll do some research and try and find out if any of these ballot workers who throw away ballots uh, get arrested. Do you know what the requirements are to work a to work a polling station? So, people always say, oh, so-and-so is not qualified to be president. Look, there's only three qualifications to be president. You gotta be born in the United States, you gotta be a certain age, and uh, what was the last one? Maybe you had to be married? I don't think so. I don't remember the third one. But there is only three there's no educational requirement, all right? There's not an aptitude test. There's no IQ test. There's nothing. So uh, you don't have to be in politics. You know, anyone really does have the opportunity to be president, basically, if you're a U.S. citizen. And I don't think felonies. So uh, that's really it. And it pretty much goes for the same for a poll worker. I don't even know if they do a background check. I think maybe all you have to do... Yeah, I think you just have to, as I recall, you have to be able, to, you have to be registered to vote. That's it. So it's not like they're just, they're supposed to not bring people off the street, but. So there you go. Pretty much the same requirements to be president are the same requirements to work a uh, polling station. Maybe that should be changed. 